The TV series adaptation of Isaac Asimov's Foundation novels is in production and will premiere on the new streaming service Apple TV+. There are many unique challenges when it comes to adapting any world-building book series, but the challenges seem all the more insurmountable when it comes to the Foundation series. These books are said to be the cornerstone of science fiction and have continued to be a major influence on so many works in books and film throughout the decades. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the premise of Foundation and what we know so far about Apple's attempt to adapt it to the screen. First, a brief background on the books themselves. Isaac Asimov is an American author whose series of eight short stories were published in Astounding Magazine between 1942 and 1950. His stories were later published as three books that became known as the Foundation Trilogy. Asimov even received the one-time Hugo Award for Best All-Time Series in 1966, a category in which Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy was also nominated, demonstrating just how revered Asimov's novels were and continue to be down to this day. His inspiration for this series came from Edward Gibbon's History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. The scale of which Asimov approaches this theme is astounding. Thousands of years into mankind's future, the Galactic Empire spans 25 million worlds, with populations reaching into the quadrillions, and the mathematician Harry Seldon has predicted its impending downfall through the application of psychohistory. This is a fictional science that combines history, sociology, and mathematical statistics to make general predictions regarding the future behaviors and outcomes of large groups of people. The empire which has stood for 12,000 years will fall, and there is no stopping it. The resulting chaos will plunge the galaxy into 30,000 years of darkness, turmoil, and barbarism. But Harry Seldon and his group of scientists work to reduce this dark time to a much shorter 1,000 years. Asimov's Foundation Trilogy tells the story of the formulation and execution of Harry Seldon's plan to preserve humanity and to rebuild civilization after the Empire's fall. It is certainly no easy task to adapt this grand-scale sci-fi epic. Skydance Television began production of this ambitious series adaptation back in June of 2017 with David S. Goyer and Josh Friedman at the helm serving as executive producers and showrunners. Then, in April of 2018, Apple bought the series for their new streaming service, which at the time was yet to be named, and then ordered a 10-episode series. Goyer's writing credits include co-writing Batman Begins, Man of Steel, as well as the Blade franchise, Batman v Superman, and Terminator Dark Fate. Josh Friedman also co-wrote Terminator Dark Fate with Goyer, as well as the screenplays for The Black Dahlia and The War of the Worlds remake. Other executive producers now include David Ellison, Dana Goldberg, and Marcy Ross. Isaac Asimov's daughter, Robin Asimov, is also on board as an executive producer. Josh Friedman has recently left his showrunner duties in April of 2020, in a move that is said to be pre-planned. The team working on this has continued to grow, and to see a full list of the cast and crew, I'll leave a link in the description for the IMDb page. Main cast members include Jared Harris as Harry Seldon, Lulu Bell as Gail, Leah Harvey as Salvor, Laura Byrne as Demerzel, with Lee Pace as Brother Day, Cassian Bilton as Brother Don, and Terrence Mann as Brother Dusk. I have to say, the inclusion of Jared Harris from Mad Men and The Crown and Lee Pace from Halt and Catch Fire and The Hobbit are both a huge draw for me. I've been very impressed with their performances and everything I've seen them in. We also have a couple of unknowns in the cast as well, so I'm really interested to see their performances. Lulu Bell, who is playing Gale, the mathematics genius from a rural planet, will make her film debut in the new upcoming sci-fi thriller, Voyagers, set to premiere November of 2020. Many are wondering whether this series will be based solely on the original trilogy or the entire Foundation saga. Decades after the original trilogy was published, Asimov eventually went on to write more books as part of the Foundation series, with two prequels and two sequels. It's hard to say definitively at the moment, 
though the description of the series on Apple TV's website says that it is based on the award-winning novels by Isaac Asimov. The description continues that Foundation chronicles a band of exiles on their monumental journey to save humanity and rebuild civilization amid the fall of the Galactic Empire. It doesn't explicitly state the original trilogy of novels, so it could be they plan to incorporate story elements from the prequel novels perhaps to give more of a backstory, especially in regards to Harry Seldon's character. So far, it looks to be a somewhat loose adaptation of the source material, with some gender-swapped characters, more action sequences from the looks of the trailer, and the curious titles for the Imperial family. Lee Pace's Brother Day being the current Galactic Emperor, with Brother Dusk said to be the eldest living member of the ruling family, and Brother Dawn the youngest and next in line to be Brother Day. I'm not sure yet if these characters will have actual names, or if they will be taken from the source material. I will say that a looser adaptation doesn't necessarily mean it will be bad. After all, this is an entirely different medium of storytelling, but they absolutely must convey faithfully the concepts and philosophy of the Foundation novels to even be considered a worthy adaptation. No easy feat, to be sure. The novels themselves were first written as short stories, after all. Stories that are separated by giant leaps of time and that follow different characters. The author himself even noted that his novels are filled with conversations and no action, no physical suspense. While it makes for an amazing and unique read, it definitely makes it challenging to translate to a series format where you need strong character development and a certain level of action to keep audiences entertained and roped into the story. We got our first look at this new series in June of 2020 with the release of a trailer. One can't deny how sleek and stunning it looks. The details and scale are impressive. They certainly spared no expense in creating these massive sets and visuals depicting the Galactic Imperium and the vastly different worlds. Having said that, however, big budgets, amazing sets and visuals will mean nothing if the story is lacking. Regarding how production has fared under lockdown, Goyer revealed in his recent Comic-Con at Home appearance on the panel The Art of Adapting Comics to the Screen that they had filmed about 40% of the first season before they were forced to shut down on March 12th. But he also said that they are looking to start filming again this October of 2020, and the series is currently set for a 2021 release. I'll be sure to release updates as more information regarding this series is revealed. I was disappointed that they turned the comments off when releasing this trailer on YouTube. I also wasn't a big fan of the promotion for Apple itself by David S. Goyer in his opening comments of the trailer. It made me feel uneasy that they went so far as to speak posthumously for Isaac Asimov by saying that Asimov was hoping to do what Apple had achieved in improving people's lives with technology and connectivity. I was on the fence already with subscribing to yet another streaming service and these self-promoting comments by Apple don't really help to convince me. Overall, I'm interested in watching the show, but I'm choosing to let the series itself tell me about Apple's ability to honor Asimov's vision. As per usual, I remain cautiously optimistic. But I will say overall, I am really excited that adaptations for both Foundation and Dune are in the works. Some say we may be entering into a renaissance of sorts for science fiction. It seems many new sci-fi properties are all dystopian, or all action all the time. I think it's nice to be able to get back to basics and what the core of science fiction is, the philosophical, grandiose ideas that stimulate the imagination and thinking ability and sparking endless debates. Both Foundation and Dune have been deemed unfilmable because of their complexity and epic scope. But even if these adaptations don't live up to the source material, I am glad for the renewed interest that will come to the books themselves. Who knows, maybe at the very least, this will cause young people to read these books, serving as inspiration for the next generation of sci-fi enthusiasts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy content. I shared my thoughts on this series and the trailer, but please let me know yours in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.